Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. So you're too famished. Okay. Well, all right. We'll just start the episode by I don't know making something, whipping up a meal. Um, here's what I'm thinking. There's a couple of things on our to-do list. Where are we? Oh, I'm in a ruin. Hmm. Was I gonna go ruin diving? I think I was, wasn't I? Did I start going ruin diving here? That's right, I cleared, I'm sorry, it's been a day, all right? Been a day, literally, since um, I stopped uh, or shut down for the night. Um, do we still get anything from Livid Creepers? Doesn't look like it. I hate these saps, because they, they, they drain our gear, and now I have to deal with uh, energy management. Um, anyway, sorry. Strange tubes. Really starting an episode here. Chain gun. Uh, that's a big weapon. Uh, I'm gonna treat these as scrap, disassemble. Grab that can't have it all and nugget. Um, I feel like there are some mines here that I have to be wary of. So I am gonna do some ruin diving. Here, here's a couple things I want to do. I want to go back to the Sultan Croc historic site that has been giving me such a hard time. And I think what I want to do is treat it very methodically. Um, you know, I would like to... We're going to temporal fugue basically every single time I see a uh, Sultan Croc. And, you know, we're going to we're gonna do it step by step. It's, you know, I, I want to do it right. Because it's one of... It's like, it's going to be a really good uh, historic site. I don't know if there's anything good in there, but it will get us quite a lot of XP if we you know, treat it with the respect it's demanding. Um, similarly, uh, there's a couple, like, we, we want to go to Rainbow Wood. I don't know if we want to do that. We're, we're definitely not doing that this episode, but we will be doing it in the, you know, future-ish. Um, we don't get anything for killing those. The other thing is I, I'm pretty sure we will still get experience for killing Sultan Crocs. I don't like this floor, and I don't want any part of this. So let's go ahead and well, well kill that sap, and then we're gonna go downstairs. Um, someone, oh, why did we have to have fungal on every floor? Might just like call it for this. Oh my god! And now we have goat folk. Like, come on. Let's just uh, temporal feud and uh, call it a day on that. It's amazing to me. I said this a couple episodes ago, ago, but I really do believe that the seed sowers are so much stronger than they have any right to be. Like, they just are... They, they take you out. They absolutely just destroy you. You know, I have 21 AV, and I'm at level 32, and the seed sowers are still absolutely destroying me just seems unreal. Brent to fungi. Oh, are our temporal fugue done? I think we're gonna die. That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Okay. Uh, you see a saw hander. Wow, ah, or just like everything in the in the whole world is like making its way over here. They they know where the party's at, you know. If we see a legendary goat folk, that would be kind of nice. Okay, we've we finally, uh, I think, killed um, most of the residents here. Luckily, we're not itchy. I'm a little bit concerned about um, how many, you know, creatures there are that are friend to fungi, which basically means, uh, you know, they're they're fungled. And we just spent quite a lot, we, well not just, but we spent a bit of time um, and effort getting unfungled. So I, I really don't uh, feel like getting fungled again. So, you know, I'm going to have to be pretty careful not to, not to disturb any fungals. Any fun guys, you know, you know. Um, these uh, missile launcher, we'll go ahead and disassemble that for some bits. Ah, you know, it's a shame. There's a, quite a lot of trash on this floor. You spot a water weep. You know, uh, in the early game, I would be very excited for that. In the late game, uh, I don't care. We actually have the location of a cider weep, which is 
100% more valuable than water. And in fact, we're at the point now where water is almost a, an obstacle. Like we don't necessarily want to have to deal with collecting it anymore. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong about that. There, but like, you know, consider just how, like, I, I've just like bought pretty much whatever I need. I think I have flawless crystal everything. And, uh, you know, we don't have access to Zeta Chrome. It's not outside the realm of possibility, but you know, basically, uh, I think I've pretty much bought everything that I need. I, I really, I really don't know what what more there is to to add to that. Um, this floor, oh, there it is. Well, we didn't get itchy skin, fortunately, but there is a there is a mushroom over there, and it's going to make our life pretty hard. Um, I almost want to write off this ruin. It's, it's like not okay. There's just too much going on. Have, okay, well, we, we found the staircase. Having to search for a staircase while also potentially avoiding fungus is just like not my ideal of a good time. All right, so we made it. We've traded fungals for, uh, seems like there's a lot of ants on this floor. We've got more saps. Saps really are kind of a problem. We've got some, oh, god damn. Okay, we managed to take out the, the seed sower. I'm just gonna hit that attack nearest. There's another seed sower and they're doing a pretty good job. Can we temporal fugue? We can. I'm just gonna temporal fugue and bail out of that mess. Are we, we're not, I was wondering if we were getting chased down by ourselves. I'll grab those nuggets. Temporal fugue is such a nice like offensive defense. You know, it's a great panic button. It's a great, uh, you know, offensive destroy everything button it's just great uh you know no no notes love it okay we are hungry we're not inspired i don't really want to cook anything interesting until i'm inspired five strata deep you see a giant beetle okay I have I have uh, set to not ignore anything because at a certain point, trivial things, as I've said, um, become dangerous enough that it's not really a good idea to ignore them. Why can't we move towards them? We're getting pretty up there in terms of temperature, but we're okay. Um, can we, can we not be on fire? Cool. Bent metal sheet, disassemble all. Yeah, like, honestly, we're at the point where I don't even really need any bits. Like, what, what would I want to make at this point? Uh, like, we could electromagnetically... Oh, we gotta make... We, I really need to use this nano neuro animator. I really, like... It just seems like I'm, I'm really sitting on this free achievement and not doing anything with it. We also have a reprogrammable recoiler. I totally forgot about that. We... I was very excited to get that, and then I didn't really do much with it. We can make antimatter cells. That's really not a priority. Uh, we have a ton of antimatter cells actually already. Flawless um, recycling. Collects, purifies, and stores up to eight drams of water. Where is wastewater? I mean, sure, we could put recycling on our reinforced flawless crystal shard mail. Why not? Why wouldn't we fordo that though? Yeah. Go ahead and spend a meta crystal on that. I don't, I don't whatever. Um, 
Night sight interpret okay, polarize protection against visual flash effects. This seems like a very good thing for us. So let's go ahead and put that on there. And um, I'm actually enhances navigation. I'm gonna put nav on as well. It's not really a good reason to do that, except that there's I, I can. Um, there's another reason though, like we have a compass bracelet. Uh, I don't know why we can put electric, electromagnetically shielded on the compass bracelet. I don't think it's even powered. Uh, and I'm just kind of looking at the rest of our options. We have spent a bit of bits. That's okay. Phase conjugate. What does this do? This explosive shifts phase immediately before detonating. Good for phase shift uh, creatures, I guess. So what's the deal with our polarized? Uh, is this not jacked? Polarized nav night sight. Can I can I jack that? <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna be a thing that uh, I never say again. Where's the night sight? Hold on a second. Mirror shades. Obsidian Chris. When, I don't know when I got Obsidian Chris's. Two-faced. Okay. Two-faced. No, that's polarized. Okay, yeah. Jacket. Oh my God. I said it again, didn't I? Um, You know, like, I don't think that that's actually going to do anything. Because I don't know, like, the whole jacked thing has not really been working out for me. Let's replace the cell with a full antimatter cell. I mean, we may as well just like stuff a antimatter cell into all of our objects. Like, why not? Just like go ahead and never worry about power ever again. Why not? You know, uh, jacked scoped handrail. Let's go ahead and replace that with an antimatter cell. Um, jacked scoped dithermo beam. Replace that with an antimatter cell. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. Okay. Jacked polarized navs night sight. We could also, we could put lantern on our two-faced flawless crystal coronet with filters. <laughs> um, and, oh, that would basically, what would that really do for us? All that would really do is that on the very rare occasion that we don't have any, um, like electro or sorry um lays like we've we've completely used up our lays and then we we no longer have natural lighting then yes uh our lantern sight would would do something for us but there's basically no reason to do that i haven't really been using my uh lays for various reasons i don't like it's a guaranteed hit but i don't think the penetration is all that good and unless i um, you know, spend a bit of time and energy leveling it up, which I don't really want to do. I sure hope I don't die after having done all of that inventory management. That would be the big dumb, wouldn't it? Our night sight is actually really nice. It's, um, it does give us a little bit of extra sight that would, you know, normally would be a problem. There's, uh, is this the guy, the, the vast animus? No. Someone did say I should be using a... Uh, a weapon from these, the Dervish, um, because their weapons are psionic and that means that they're ego-based. Uh, you're not wrong. The reason I wouldn't do it, however, is because they tend to be, uh, like, cutting weapons, to put it very dumbly. <laughs> like, uh, you know, they, they first of all, we'd want to find, like, you know, a crystal. Psionic crystal is something we'd, we would want. Uh, and then we would want a bashing or cudgel based weapon. These are these are going to be nasty slimes I don't really want to deal with because they are made up of the goo that gives you disease. <laughs> disease goo, you know? So there's a vast animus here. Someone also saying if I want to get that clone... Uh, oh, that was in the Caves of Cud um, Discord. If I want to get the the uh, the cud, the the clone achievement, then the best way would be to 
um, make friends with a cloneling. We're not in a great situation here. But luckily we've got Temporal Fugue. I don't know what's taking so long, honestly. I'm a little bit worried. There's a lot of... Is that all fungal? Yeah, it's fungal spores, all right. Okay, waiting for the Spungal Fours. Spungal Fours to disappear. Love them, Spungal Fours. They are taking a long time to disappear. So, um, that was a vast... An oh, we have mirror bugs. I hate mirror bugs. I really don't know how I'm supposed to deal with mirror bugs. If, if you're in the comments, uh, welcome to the post 15 minutes uh, of this episode. I, I appreciate you sticking around this long. Um, maybe you want to let me know what, uh, how, how do you best take care of mirror bugs? What is the best way to take care of them? Four sets of law petals. I think I already have that. I might actually have that. Law. Oh no, I only have two law petals. Four sets of law petals. Well, that's a that's a Betel quest we can for sure accomplish. Feels pretty good. It's good to get uh, a chem, sorry, a, a, a Betel quest that you can do. I love just walking up to, to <laughs> chain guns and saying no. I do appreciate the um, the bunny in the basket mod that lets me know if there's if, if there's things I can still collect in a chest. I've said this many times but I, I really really enjoy quality of life mods. They're, they really are my favorite mods for Cud. I was saying, um, I mean, like, I, I said this in the comments as if it should be a basic feature in CUD, but um, I would love, and I've said this in previous series, so if you're, if I'm re repeating myself, I apologize, but um, I would love there to be some, like, a bunch of features added to the journal. Um, for instance, I would love there to be checklist features, like you can start a checklist of things you need to or want to do um, in, in CUD. You know, like, almost like... <laughs> I know this is, like, probably a waste of time for a lot of people. A pair of crystal gauntlets before me. Uh, that's actually kind of doable. I could possibly do that. I don't... I, <laughs> there's a not 0% chance I would have them on me, but I don't. Um, you know, almost, like, make the journal in CUD a... Uh, uh, a word processor like give let me have bullet points uh let me have checklists that i can i can you know just kind of pop pop the little you know check check things off um you know i i'd love there to be maybe like this is a feature of one of the mods i think it's a hunter z mod um but you know, whenever I meet a legendary, make note of where that legendary was. Um, it's something I think I can do now. Okay. The, the, the saw handers have been not kind to me in this playthrough, so I, I really don't want to have to deal. Yo, this, that, that turret tinker evaded me. I know I can follow them around and, uh, collect the bits but it really doesn't help it's not a great um you know it's it's, it's not going to give me bits that i really need unless it's a dynamic tinker i managed to get like a ton of antimatter cells from the last dynamic tinker so you know i know the value uh but you know oof is that a corpse what is this Bat corpse, okay. Not really helpful. What is this? Chain gun tinker. Yeah, we, we, we can get rid of them. And honestly, like, at a certain point, I don't think it's worth, um, like, thinking optimally when it comes to, uh, t you know, following tinkers around because you're just going to encounter enough of them that it doesn't matter. Like, it just straight up doesn't matter. Like, we're down here. 
collecting stuff in general. That's why we're down here. Like, that's how it works. That's how Caves of Code Mafia works, you know? We're, we're down here, we're collecting junk, and we're gonna get the stuff we need. We don't need to be, like, playing some kind of meta game of, you know, I, I really, I just want to, like, break, crack open this saw hander because they, it, it keeps stopping me from moving. Is it slightly dangerous? But well, we're good. So, uh, crystal gauntlets, huh? You want you want like four of them? Want me to pick up some milk as well? Some uh, some yuhu, some uh, Jaffa cakes. Actually, that's a UK thing. I, I just like blended together like three or four different culturalisms, cultural snacks. I'll get some pocky. Um, I'll get some milk, I'll get some Oreos. Actually, Oreos are, are pretty genuinely all over Japan, so, it, you know, it doesn't have to... It's not necessarily a blending. Pew pew, I am just pew pewing. Okay, let's, uh, make our way over there. Oh, I don't want to deal with that sap. I don't want to deal with that slime. I don't want to deal with that sap. What else do we got? We're just like disassembling. We have so many bits. So many bits. It just doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, you know, when it comes to collecting stuff for tinkering, like I don't, what else can I tinker? I, I would love to hear in the comments actually, like what don't I have at this point? It's going to be honestly a pain in the butt if and when I find Zeta Chrome. Oh, did we make enemies to an ape? Yeah, we did. Because then it's it's just gonna, you know, the cycle repeats itself, and I'm gonna have to be upgrading Zeta Chrome gear, which is basically just like, oh, you want the most basic mod ever? Okay, that'll be 16 uh, Meta Crystals, please. And thank you. What do you mean? I don't wanna. What is this? Dynamic Turn Tinker. Okay, let's uh. I, I know I said I, I, I didn't really want to do this, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go and ahead and follow this guy around a little bit. What are these? Vanta buds. Not sure what those do. I know the Vanta stuff is used for something. I'm amazed we're not inspired yet. I accidentally killed him. I, <laughs> I really didn't mean to do that. What do we got here? Full rate. Uh, Armit? Nah. I love just like walking up to a slumberling and taking them out. I shouldn't be trying to fight um, Sawhanders hand to hand because even if I have a very good chance of destroying them, there's still a small chance they will take us out to dinner and I'll end up eating my arm again. I kind of wish we had a better pistol. Oof. Why are we enemies, Elder? Elder Mazebeard, excuse me. Why are we enemies? We don't we don't need to be enemies. I mean, we're technically we're not now because I I just killed you, but Oh god. All right. We're we're at like a good stage of the game where very little actually frightens me anymore. I think, uh, I think, whatchamacallit, oh god, more fungus, really? I'm trying to think, of, yeah, we're just gonna not do this for. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the lithofex. Lithofex are, are still uh, something that concerns me, for sure. Um, basically anything that could instantly kill us. We're, are we really fungling again on this floor? We really do be fungling again on this floor. No, thank you. We got a dervish. This one took me out pretty hard, actually. But they've got some good stuff. Sonic Flawless Crystal Halberd. Um, you know, cool. Not, not a bludgeoning weapon, though, unfortunately. This is an axe. 
I think, you know, worth grabbing for the money, I guess. Uh, this I'm not really sure what's going on here, but we have a greater voider spider. Greater vo voider spiders are definitely kind of a problem, but not not really when they're working with shale. Why? Not to criticize, but why are you working with shale, my dude? That seems like a, a, a absolute waste of your skills. No, no reason to be using shale for your work. Cause like, yeah, that's that doesn't seem right. Shale is like two, two smacks and it breaks down. You know, you'd think that a, a greater voider spider would be working with something a little bit stronger than that, <clears throat> like marble. What is that? That's a different kind of chain gun. Another chain gun over there. Oh, we did. Did we get normalized? That's the worst. We got turned into a dang normie with no mental mutations. Don't you hate it when you succumb to, to peer pressure and turn into another normal without mental mutations? Okay. It's, oh, another cloneling. I, uh, too, too bad I don't have a ganglionic teleprojector. If I had a ganglionic teleprojector, then that would just be ideal. Also, I really like saying ganglionic teleprojector. I don't know if mutants can become grafted. If they, they, if they can be, then it would be worth it just for that. Okay. I, I really want to see what's in this chest, but my character keeps getting distracted. Weird artifact. Always uh, interesting to see what... Oh, metamorphic polygel! Heck yeah, bud. It's about dang time. Now we're getting the good stuff. Now the question is, do I want to use that on my, on my uh, pistol? I'd almost say that our pistol has become kind of like... Um, you know, not... I wouldn't say it's redundant, but it's not really the hotness that it was initially anymore. I think if I could find an Eigen rifle, oh, sorry, an Eigen pistol, um, that might be what we want. Eigen pistol would be good. Um, I think Eigen rifle has the best pen in the game. I could be wrong about that, though. Ooh, look at all this stuff. We got a security card as well. He's got an emergency security card as well. Hmm. So do we have all three yet? Where's our security cards? I don't... Where are they? <laughs> where... Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Oh, did he just pick that up? Is that what happened? Because I don't have it. He has one that I don't have. Alright, well, I guess I'll buy it. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. And I still have to... <laughs> I'm, I should stop saying this, but I, I really need to use that nano new <laughs> Nano Neuro Animator. Um, I, I don't know what to use it on. I know that's not really an excuse, because you don't really... Like, who cares? Let's just start using it. I, I'm, I'm sick and tired of like hearing myself say it and then not using it. The first thing we're gonna do is our, it's got a nano neuro, uh, sorry, a nuclear cell in it, but let's go ahead and shove an antimatter cell in it because we can. Um, activate. Well, there's nothing around us. Let's kill this urchin. Um, okay, let's let's use it on this wall to our left. Activate on this wall. Full creep. You imbue the full creep with life. Uh, that was apparently the tenth thing that I have imbued with life. Hello. It's damaged. 
<laughs> Aren't we all? Um, unfortunately, I don't think it can move if it's attached to the rest of the wall. I don't know. Oh, there's a Rimwick. Are you... Okay, we're not enemies to the Rimwick. That, that's good. Rimwicks can hurt you pretty bad. So, I need, I need to animate ten more things, and then um, I will have gotten that achievement. I almost want to, like, find a village I don't care about. Oh, you know what? Bimu. Bimu would be perfect. Let's, um... Okay, this is going to be problematic, but just hear me out, okay? Hear, hear out the whole thing. Let's destroy Bimu, okay? Hear me out. Like, let's basically clear Bimu out of all good- of all people. They all hate us, right? There are- they're technically our enemies, alright? Right? So, you know, why not destroy our enemies? Uh, if you haven't been following along, I made enemies to Bimu uh, by throwing them under the bus when it came to doing the- the, the, not the chaos spiel, but whatever it, that is. Oh my god. What? We have a legendary servant of Toh. So that's no good. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Oh. Okay, let's, uh, let's temporal fugue. Okay, there's a not 0% chance that we could die here. They have a psionic weapon, and we don't have very good willpower, so this could go very poorly. We're kind of stuck right now. Fortunately, our temporal fugues are outside of the force field. Not so fortunately, they're not very good at aiming. <laughs> or, like, moving around or doing anything. Um, so... They are killing them, slowly. I, I'm a little bit worried that I'm gonna get freed from my cell here and then I'm just gonna get demolished by this guy. I guess I could like be destroying this force field. It's, it's, you know, you can break them down. I think these things are also shooting at us. Whoa, wait a minute. Did it just get... Did it die? What happened? Kind of hope we can uh, that the original died in a way where we can loot it cuz it might have some good stuff. Aha, gaslight Chris. Psionic weird artifact. All right, that sounds promising. Lambent. I don't know what that means. Vibroblade. Well, you know, that's a really nice item that we can't use. And here's a rifle we can't use. Slender laser rifle. And what else? Bloodstained electrified carbide hammer. Eh, we can technically use that, but no. Like, make no mistake. I don't have to stay strictly, you know, bludgeoning. For sure. I don't. But, you know, what's the point in having a build if I don't, you know, use it? Build into it. We do have some interesting and potentially dangerous things happening here. That slumberling is now fight. Oh, jeez. What is- what just hurt us that hard? Wraith Knight Templar of the Binary Harem. Okay, uh, we're gonna Temporal Fugue again. Oh my god, we died. They hit us with a Psionic Flawless Crystal Longsword. Well, that sucks. We, uh, we just lost quite a lot of progress there. This entire episode basically did not happen. Doesn't that just suck? I, I kind of want to go back to that ruin because there was a lot of really good stuff here and now I'm going to have to do all that stuff with our antimatter junk again, aren't I? And also the tinkering. You know what? I'll do that. Um, I'm going to do that in Great Gate. 
And I'm going to do it between episodes because I don't want you to have to suffer through that inventory and item management again. So, uh, you know, I'm sorry I died. I, I don't know. I, I've never encountered that guy before, but I don't know what I was, you know, what, what I could have done. Um, maybe you can let me know what, what kind of person I was dealing with there. So to, to cap off my thoughts, I want to go to Bumu, clear it out, basically destroy it, and then turn it into a animated object village. It won't technically be a village anymore, um, but, you know, just basically animate all of the <laughs> furniture in, in the, on that village, and that'll be how I get that achievement. So we'll do that in the next episode. Um, in the meantime, if you enjoyed this episode, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.